Hey y'all, Ivana Manley here. Today we're gonna to talk about capacitors. What are they? What do we use them for? Well, capacitors are kind of like batteries. They store energy. And in power supplies, we're gonna use these in circuitry to make the DC power very smooth after we've rectified it from the AC power. So these big banks of capacity here store energy in the form of joules. It's a long held belief of ours that the more joules we have in our big power amplifiers, then the more of this instant impact that we can have in the sound. It contributes to the strength of the power amplifier. So you'll see some of these in our biggest power amplifiers like our monstrous 500 watt and 250 watt models. Come on down to the lower power tube amplifiers. Wow. That's 1,200 microfarads in this small package. I tell you, 30 years ago, this would have been twice the size. It's amazing. Technology has just gotten better and better over the years with these electrolytic capacitors. And speaking of which, all of these, these are made in the USA by Cornell Dublier. They're one of our favorite companies we've been working with since the late 1980s. The German-made WEMA capacitors are also featured in so many of our units. You'll see them in our equalizer sections especially. And they're bulletproof, reliable, really great brand, great product we've been using for a million years. Some capacitors are made for power supplies and other capacitors are made for audio, such as this capacitor. This little puppy will take the DC voltages out from the previous stage and only allow the audio to go to the next stage. There are different values, like this is 1200 microfarads and this is only three microfarads. And depends what frequency you're trying to affect and how much capacity you need at what frequency and what impedances are involved and all that stuff. That's why there's such a wide variety of capacitors available in the world. Other capacitors can be found on a reel like this one. These are little ceramic capacitors used, mainly used in an IC circuit to uh, provide local filtration. We're never gonna be listening to this capacitor directly. I remember back in the early 1990s, I took a bag full of capacitors. There were some Wemas, there were some rel caps, there were some multi caps. There were some electrolytics. There were electrolytics in parallel with Wemas. Oh, there were photo flash capacitors, a lot of capacitors. I took a whole bag of capacitors down. And we spent the whole day listening to master tape at Jackson Brown's studio and changing out the two output capacitors in the vacuum tube D to A converter we were using <laughs> at that time. And we would we, we would play the same song off the tape, listen to that capacitor, make notes, and then solder in another set of capacitors and compare them in the, in the kind of quick A-B test way. And I tell you, that day, it was this guy that won. And that's why we're still using it today on the output of all of our single-ended circuits.